Hi, my name's Amanda Skelton and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you this lovely card. Um, I've made it sort of a Christmas themed card. Um, but it's it, it looks quite complex but actually it's quite simple. So it's sort of a little tie here at the side. And then it opens up and it's got this lovely detail inside. So I've uh, taken this from uh, Jan B. Um, she's done this card as well as a tutorial and she called it the W card because it looks a bit like a W when you sort of open it up and it's just really nice you can obviously add any detail you want inside and any papers and things and decorate it on the outside it looks quite complex but like I said once you've actually cut all the pieces it's not too complex to actually put together and like I said you can uh, make it versatile to be any um, sort of design um, so what I've used for this is I've used the Dove of Hope bundle, so that is the stamps and the um, matching dies, and I've used the die here for this um, Dove cut out here. Everything else inside I've stamped, but you could equally um, uh, stamp and then use the dies to die cut these and then have these as um, layers on here, but I've just done this as stamping. And again, if you haven't got the dies, you could just stamp the images onto the front. You don't have to die cut it. And then the papers I've used, which are gorgeous, especially for the Christmas season, and they are called the Snowflake Splendor DSP. Let me just get, grab you a sample of the papers. So this is one side, so you can see all the really nice sort of snowflake effects. And there's six different designs on that side and then obviously they are two-sided and then you have these gorgeous sort of um, ink blots a bit more pastel-y I would say um, but again really nice and they tend to really do match the, the other sides as well so that's really nice to have as a set for Christmas okay and what else I've used is the metallic edge ribbon as our um, way of closing the card. Um, this is the white with the silver edging. They also do um, a very vanilla with a gold edging. So if you use very vanilla cardstock and um, gold, for example, is your theme, then you could use the other colour. Right, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a slightly different colour way to this example. So I'm going to use the same um, stamps and papers, but I'm going to take a different set of, so I'm going to use the navy, um, so I'm going to use the Knight of Navy uh, ink and the Knight of Navy cardstock to blend in with the um, papers. Now, as I said, the papers have two sides. You can mix and match from any sides of your papers, and I've made it so that I've got a different pattern on the outside to the inside. I've sort of made the inside a bit more plain and pale, I suppose, and the outside a bit more detailed and coloured. Um, so you could use the two sides of any, or use the same. And actually, the ones that I've chosen actually are the opposites of the same piece of card, the same piece of DSP on this one. Okay, so what do we need to make this card? Let's go through all the pieces of card you need and the sizes. Okay, so you need a piece of white DSP and that needs to measure four and an eighth inch by 11 and a half inch and that is scored in half at five and three quarter inches. And then you need four pieces of cardstock. So I've got the Knight of Navy cardstock here and that needs to measure three and seven eighths of an inch by five and a half inches. And they will be your, they'll be your edges on your four panels and then you've got your pattern DSP so if you want to have different um, patterns then you want two pieces of one DSP which is three and three quarter inches by five and three eighths of an inch and then your second pattern again two pieces at three and three quarters inch by five and three eighths of an inch okay and then you want your panels here. Now I've done them a slightly different size to the one that Jan did. 
these are slightly bigger but they still fit on the band which is quite good and the reason I did them this size is because I wanted to make sure I could get this image on the panel if I'd have done them smaller it wouldn't have um, quite fitted so you can play around if you've got an image that's slightly bigger again you've still got some space here if you can see the width here you've still got some space that you can play if you want to make the panel slightly bigger because you've got a particular image in mind so again you want your card stock which I've got United Navy you want four pieces of that at two inches um, sorry two and an eighths of an inch by two and an eighths of an inch that's the adjusted sizes and then you want four pieces of white cardstock which you're going to stamp your images on two and that needs to be two inches by two inches so it was a two inches I needed to get that dove Im image on and then you need the band that's going to allow the W opening detail to work and that needs to be again Knight of Navy that needs to be one inch by eleven inches and you need to score it at two and three quarter inches five and a half inches and eight and a quarter inches okay so let's get all of our pieces back on here so first of all we've got some layering up to do and so we can fold our base in half so we've got that ready to go and then maybe what we'll do is we'll stamp our images first and it just gives some chance to dry before we do our panels so these are the designs that I've done um, I don't know if you can see here so I've used the um, I think it's What is it? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I'm using this branch, um, but obviously it's longer than the section, so I've just done it so that it comes onto the section, and I've hung this like a wall, so that's what we're going to do. So again, I'm going to use my Knight of Navy ink, and then I'm going to have my four images here. So... I'm going to do the bauble and I'm going to do that quite close to the top so it looks like it's hanging down so that one's ready to go and then I'm going to do my bow I'm going to come have that coming into the panel like that And then I'm going to have my dove. You just want to make sure that that fits in your panel as well. Ooh, stuck. And then I've used the Peace on Earth um, sentiment as well from it as one of my panels. You don't have to. If you don't want to have the sentiment on the inside, you can just have it have images. There's um, snowflakes, you could just do one with snowflakes if you wanted to. There you go. So that's all the images I want to stamp for now. So I'm going to start assembling my panels. So remember, if you want to have different sides of your patterns, remember to do two of one and two of the other, or however you want to do it. It's not the end of the world if you wanted to uh, have them all the same. I just think it's quite a nice contrast. Oops. So I'm just using your, either your um, Tombow glue or your... Snail glue, tape, okay, so we just make our panels up, the good 
thing about this pattern is there isn't really a right or wrong way up, so you can't really go wrong. And I'm gonna do these these way, so make sure that I glue the other side. Again, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be if you did probably three of one and four of another. Did I glue all of those? Yeah. I think that these papers uh, blend nicely with the, the cardstock. Okay, so that's our four panels. And then we can also do the same for our stamped images now. They are pretty dry quickly anyway, but I uh, just thought I would let it have a little longer. I've just done this fairly monotone with just the inked outline of these images. There's no reason why you can't colour them in with your blends if you wanted to. Or you could add a wink of Stella just to give it a bit of sparkle. soon have another right those sections are done okay so probably the most technical part of this card well two parts I suppose is the putting the W band in and also doing the um, ribbon so this is the ribbon I'm going to use, which is the metallic edge ribbon. And I've probably got about, oh, what have I got? About 26 inches, so I've already pre-cut it. So what have we got? 16, uh, about 22 inches, I suppose. Okay, and what you wanna do, so this is gonna be hidden by the panels, so we need to stick this on because it's gonna be underneath the panels like this. So what you want to do is make sure that it's central to the card. And you can do this by putting it against your grid paper, if you've got some grid paper, or if not, you can just use your ruler and just mark halfway. I'm just gonna do the same that side. do the same the other side doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but it's uh, it will help you to cut it roughly central I don't think anybody's going to notice if it's slightly off and then what you want to do is on one of your sections is use your glue tape then what you want to do is get your ribbon in half. Right, so that's roughly half there. So I'm just going to slightly just move it into place. And then I'm just going to press it down like that. Okay. That's one piece done. And then you want to do the other side. I'm just gonna oh, be okay. Again, you just want to draw a glue line down there. 
don't do it too tight don't try and pull it too tight onto the uh, folded edge because otherwise it will um, not close properly or it'll be a bit tight to close and what you want to do is you just want to line it up with the piece of um, ribbon that's already there and again just gently offer it down so then they both come together so you're going to notice more if they don't line up than if this is slightly cro crooked or not central you're going to notice that a lot more okay so that is that section so uh, it doesn't matter which we do first now I'm going to have the um, snowflakes on the inside because I think that would be quite nice with the um, background on there um, so we can put those panels into place so it's, it's, like I said it's quite a simple card once you've got all the pieces I'm just thinking have I missed something glue too far over the edge and if I touch it on here it's slightly sticky so what you can do just use your finger and just roll it back onto the back edge and then it's not sticky at all on the edge otherwise it's going to stick your card together when you close it what you want to do is make sure that your um, panel on this side is lined up with this side again you're going to notice more if it's not lined up than if you've got a wider gap at the top or the bottom. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. Right, we can do the panels on the outside as well. Doesn't really matter which order you assemble it. Do I want as the front? Does it matter? I think I'm going to do that on the back. Okay, so that hides your ribbon. on it might depend on what you're planning to put on the front panel as to whether you want a lighter or a darker color I think I'll put that there the reason is because I'm going to put my sentiment on this corner which is going to be white it's going to show up more on the on the darker background okay so that is most of the card done okay so now we want to do the inside mechanics so so you should have already have scored this so you basically want to score it in half make sure that it all lines up nicely when you do that and then you want to take each one and fold it back on each other on itself okay Again, give it a nice press and make sure that all the edges are nice and straight. And that is your W. Okay? So, the um, bend sticking upwards needs to be in the middle. And then you need to find where that jaw matches the um, uh, fold of the base. And again, we want to try and match it to centre it so you can try and use the ribbon to centre it okay so I'm going to use again I'm going to use my tape and you want to put tape on the whole of this edge section so again 
Again, if you use the left hand side to, and you can see that it's slightly shorter than the patterned paper. So you want to just do that, make sure it's centered in the middle more importantly, and then just press it down. So then you've still got, okay. And then you want to do the same to this one. Okay, again, try not to press it really, really tight. Give it a little bit of, just gently, just let it fold where it wants to go. So it closes nicely, but then it also opens. If you do it too tight, sometimes it won't lay flat again. Okay, so you can decide where you want each of your panels. Um, I thought it was quite nice to have Peace on Earth at the end because you sort of see that... When you open it up, you sort of see that first, so it's like your sentiment, but it's entirely up to you. And I think I will do it that way. So what you want to do is stick these onto the uh, panels here. Now, what I suggest you do, it's not going to go to the whole end of each of the sections it's only going to go part the way through and what i suggest you do is put glue on the band and not on here um, it's not so bad on the two edge pieces because they are actually stuck down anyway but if you put too much glue on here and it goes on to here this isn't going to lift because you're going to have stuck it down to the base so i suggest that you put glue on here and probably less than you think you need so again i'm going to just put a section on here again the edge pieces it doesn't matter so much you want to try and centre either side of the edges and up and down as well. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here. So again, I'm going to do less than more. And again, you want to try and centre up in the middle of the section and you want to try and make sure it's level with the piece next to it. So I think that looks about right. So I should press that on there. Again, I've got this section here. Centre it again. And that's about right. And again, about level. If you wanted to, you could put a piece of card along the bottom or a line just to make sure that you're getting it roughly centred. And then again on this one. press down and hopefully it all folds and it opens up nicely. Such a really nice effective card but again like I said it's not that complex once you've got the pieces of paper cut and the sizes and the, and the folds um, but yes it's really really nice. So then we just need to decorate the front. So I forgot to say you need a piece of extra uh, white cardstock. Right, and what did I measure this at? Uh, I measured this at one and seven eighths by two and a uh, two and an eighth of an inch for the Nate oh, for the coloured card stock, and the white card is um, two inches by one and three quarter inches, and that should be big enough for your sentiment. So I just need to swap out a couple of my blocks so I can put my sentiment on. And it's a really nice sentiment. May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. So it doesn't have to be particularly religious. But it's quite a nice sentiment. And then I also want to take off. one to put. Right, so let's get my ink out again. Now I'm probably not going 
to cut this to size, I'm probably going to just stamp into the centre. Sorry, not into the centre, to the edge. And then I'm going to use my trimmer. And I'm just going to trim it close to the... So I'm going to have to get my head in the way so that I can get above it to see. Right, so I think that should be out right there. Okay. And then I'm also going to get a piece of cardstock a knight of navy just look it just finishes it off to have a, an edge around it so again this is how i do it manually but you can do yours by measurements if you want to i just get my pencil i just do it by sight really and then i'm going to just cut See that's where my line is there. So I'm just going to line it up. Oh, I didn't quite cut far enough in the front first one, so I just literally just snip. two together okay so I'm going to put that in the corner and then I'm going to um stamp and then I'm going to die cut the dove. So again you want some more white card. My Knight of Navy ink, make sure it's nicely inked up. I use this ink quite a lot actually, I can see it's drying out a little bit. So let's stamp there it doesn't matter where because we're going to cut it out but you could equally just stamp it directly onto onto your base if you want to if you haven't got the dies and now i'm really excited because i'm going to use my new stamping cut and emboss machine I haven't used this one well actually i've literally just used it just to try it out so look at this machine I don't know if anybody remembers, which I can show you. This is my old Big Shot, which to be fair, it's had a lot of use and it has done me very, very well. But you can see the state of the plates and you can see that they're cracking again because I've used them so much. I should have really got new ones. But So anyway, I've treated myself to this one. The advantage of this one over the existing Big Shot is folds up a bit smaller to take away with you it's a, it's a heavy piece of machinery it's solid that's for sure um, but it's really nice that it folds up like that so this is it's maiden voyage and I'm very excited so it comes with base plates um, the extra sandwich the two cutting boards and it also comes with grab it it also comes with this plate as well so you use this plate if you're doing um embossing so like the big shot it does your dice uh, die cutting and your embossing and if you can see there 
I have actually used it on the wings already. That was my practice run. So, I just need to grab the die. So, from this is from the matching die set. Just need to place the die about there, I think. That's about right. Make sure it's all lined up at the edges. I think this is a bit easier to get it all lined up because it's got a deeper, um, a deeper edge here. So then wind it through. It feels really nice and solid, and it connects really nice, and you can just feel it going through and cutting. So there we have. through just to keep that safe. I shall be using that a lot more, I know that for sure. So now we can just assemble. If you want to, you can use foam pads if you want to raise them up a bit, but remember it's already quite a thick card. If you're going to post it, you probably need to do it as um, a large letter because of the thickness. Um, so I'm not I'm not going to add it, uh, any more thickness to it. So I'm just going to add my sentiment. I'm going to add it to this bottom corner, and then. That just fills up that space there. And then you can you don't want it much shorter than the twenty. At 22 inches I said you don't want it much shorter than that otherwise you won't be able to get your fingers in to do your bow so there you have it beautiful W card which looks really really impressive to to open and to look at but actually isn't that complicated and like I said you can alter it and you it doesn't have to be a Christmas card if it's a special birthday you can make one of these be the age if it's like a 40th or something um, it's just yeah it's just a really nice special detailed card. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you can uh, buy the products at Amanda, um, www.amandascraftedcards at stampingup.net and um, yeah it's just a really nice card. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoy making the card. If you do please do post some comments to say to show me what you've made. And uh, yes, look forward to that. So thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.